Hello everyone and welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. If you guys follow my wild edibles videos, um, you have seen that this year I've been cutting stinging nettle, which is what we have right here, and have been dehydrating it, grinding it down, and putting them into quart jars. And it takes a lot of nettle to fill a quart jar. But like I've said many times, you cannot grow anything in your garden that has a nutritional value of this plant. Uh, one thing I've learned, I've got this stand right here that you guys have seen before if you've watched the videos, uh, where it grows. It was kind of, it used to be a garden and there was compost in it and the seeds of there and it just grows great here. But what I've noticed now, when I come out I'll take and, and cut the leaves off and I will also pop the tops off. So as I go along I clip the leaves and put them in here. When I get to the top that stem part there isn't too bad. So I'll snip that off and I'll dehydrate that whole thing because I can grind that up it's not a big deal when you get down to the stem like this a little bit too tough and uh, so I end up throwing that out and it wastes time in the dehydrator but what I've noticed if you look over here now here is a plant that I have already cut the top off about three weeks ago and look what happens it grows complete new shoots up here so now I've got four or five tops that are coming up so I've actually by harvesting it earlier now I'm getting a ton more because I can do the whole tops here so if you guys cultivate this and there is a patch and you think you've got it all you can go back and get more because I am just I'm just amazed I mean here look at this one I cut that top off and look what's grown I can show you a couple others here's another one you can see the brown spot there where I cut it and I go back and look at all the leaves and those dehydrate so well so anyway, um, if you guys are picking this stuff, make sure you don't cut it all the way down to the bottom. Just do it like this, and you will com it'll continue to give you nettles, I suppose, until freeze up. I don't know. I'm going to keep doing this until they stop. And uh, you might ask, why am I saving the nettles? Well, just simply because of the nutritional value. I don't even eat it that much right now. I use it to try it. But if we ever needed it, I'm going to be very glad that I have it jarred and in storage. Thanks a lot for watching the Jones X Survival Channel.